On the ASCO 185 series, once you've opened the NEMA 3 door, inside you'll find the controller. The controller has five lights and three buttons. The lights will indicate what's going on. The first light, which says Utility Acceptable, means there is power at the utility. And the last light here, which says Generator Acceptable, is going to tell you that the generator is on and that there is power available from the generator. The lights in the middle, Load on Utility and Load on Generator, are going to tell you what position the transfer switch is in. If it is Load on Utility, then that means you are working off the utility, and Load on Generator will mean that you are working off your generator. So under normal conditions, your Utility Acceptable and Load on Utility lights should both be on, which means there is no issue with your power. If you do have a power cut and you're running on generator, the Load on Generator and Generator Acceptable lights will both be on. The fifth light here is for the Generator Exerciser, so when that light is on and solid, it indicates that there has been a Generator Exerciser timer set. This is to exercise the generator once a week to make sure everything is working correctly. If that light is completely off, it means that there is no exercise timer set. And if it's blinking, it means that it is going through the generator exerciser, so you'll see that blinking if it's testing the system. On the ASCO 185 series, you have three buttons. The load transfer button, which is if you want to do a manual test of the system, so you would just press this and the generator will start up. It will then transfer to load, then transfer back to utility, and then shut down the generator, so it will go through the full cycle. The next button is the bypass time delay. This allows you to stop the exercise at any moment and go back to utility, so you would just press that and the whole cycle would stop. It also allows you to bypass the engine cooldown timer, which lets the generator run on for a period of time after the utility is back and the transfer switch has transferred back. And then the final button, the set engine exercise time you would press to set the time of day you want to do weekly exercises of your generator to test that it is working correctly and you'll know it's been set because the light will turn solid.